Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Spy Family episode number 5 reaction. Okay, the previous episode we are we reached the school and uh, Eden school, I think that was the name Eden Academy, yeah. Uh, we reached the school and we were ready for the interview and uh, like you know we saw how like everything's so strict over there and uh, there's like house masters kind of uh, judging them from as soon as they get in and uh, like you know they, like you know giving them points and like you know disqualifying them this and that and one of the house masters we met an, an old man with a monocle i don't think they told his name but he gives preference to elegance and uh, we see how uh, the forger family is able to do everything pretty good because you know twilight is kind of accustomed to being like you know adapted to adapting to circumstances uh, since he's a spy and he's doing this so well yor is just following his lead while anya can read their minds so she could like you know do whatever they are like you know trying to do and again follow their lead so like a few uh, obstacles kind of uh, happens uh, first is like the boy just falls down, you know, like and that like, you know, we see uh, they have uh, the Forger family has like a change of clothes as well uh, In case they get dirty then like random animals come rushing at them and again That is also done pretty well and we see the housemaster is pretty impressed with them and he's like oh these people this family is uh, elegance personified uh, but in the interview when they're talking we meet a person uh, one of the big shots of that place uh i think his grandfather or father something like you know uh, like uh, it's like a uh, headmaster or something was and it's like a big shot so that guy's pretty uh snobby or and like you know pretty prideful about that and uh that guy asks a few unnerving uncomfortable questions which by the end of it really like you know hurts anna uh, anya and uh, by the end we see uh, twilight and you're both getting extremely mad twilight was almost going to punch him to death and, like and thankfully he was able to like just punch the desk down uh and uh, yeah they were like yeah we don't need to get in this school they just leave and thankfully by the end of it uh, the the house master the monocled house master guy he taught him a lesson he just punched him <laughs> And uh, yeah, so we'll see. Like you know, hopefully that guy uh, actually helps them get in the Forger family, and we are able to take admission in that school. But we'll see about that. Let's see what happens in this episode. This is episode number five of Spy Family. Let's get started. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Think it whichever is your preference, and let's start. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, results, okay. Oh my god, everything's just... Mm, I don't know, the, the photograph fell down and all. <laughs> and this is happening in the 1600s, so... Oh no! Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, I hope cherry blossoms blossom. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wait, uh, did they really not get in? Oh my god. I was hoping the the house the, the 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 guy, the old man he would do something. Um Okay, you know what? Let's not jump into conclusions because I remember seeing a similar anime like this where something like this happened and they thought they haven't gotten in, but by the end of it we see they have gotten in. There was like another separate sheet or something. They've just forgot to like, you know, see that. So let's not jump into conclusions.
Okay, let's see. Acceptance or rejection? Oh my god, it really is not in there. Um. Uh. <laughs> not because of that. Okay, there you go. Hopefully, Henderson, that's his name, okay. List of successful applicants. Oh! Okay! We're all at the top! But... Uh, that's very difficult! Like, this is the Eden Academy, like, everyone will want to... I don't know... <laughs> yes, that is definitely, yeah, definitely a big thing. Yeah, you saved the school, you know. Oh no, your calm down. Your oh my god, I feel like this girl is. Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god, she, she's thinking of this. <laughs> Anya's just listen. Sacrifice. <laughs> oh, really? I like this is kind of surprising. Like, this is the Eden Academy, so people. Oh, no. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> Elegant boy. <laughs> what is this, some kind of ritual? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> is this like some secret buy stuff? Or, or is it the result? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay oh how did he get the information <laughs> wow <laughs> fossil Okay. Yeah, don't. Okay. What the hell is Anya doing? It's over. Huh. Anya's just. Huh? What is that? What, go to a picnic or something? 
Wait, what? What? <laughs> Honey? <laughs> Princess Honey. Oh, wait, are they like going to a movie or something? Bond man. <laughs> Princess Honey. Is that like a... What? Yeah, I don't think that's happening. Okay. <laughs> Wait, then how do you... Oh. Okay, okay, then... <laughs> wow, Frankie. Hmm. <laughs> I booked the castle. <laughs> okay, that's cute. <laughs> What's the music? Oh, he wants to book the. Oh, okay, okay, that. Oh, they want to book the castle. Yeah, here we go. Oh no! Wait, what? Oh, it is, it is the castle, I think. Oh, oh, they're, they're probably thinking this is for some spy job or something. You're still drinking. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Why is she still drinking? Yeah. <laughs> Especially your. She's so drunk that I don't think she... Realizes what's happening. Wow, okay. Frank is just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, what's happened? N no one's here, that's why, probably. Yeah. Okay. Okay, call, call. Wow. <laughs> Additional personnel. I don't think she even realizes what is happening. <laughs> She's probably, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> In a way, they're correct. This is SS plus rank because if Anya doesn't go to school, it all fails. So. <laughs> all right. 
Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Let's just try to information. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, you are correct. The other man will explain the details. Anya! <laughs> Lloyd man! <laughs> um... What? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I knew this day would come. All right, let's see. Let <laughs> Please push. What the? Okay. Oh my god. Ah, where those? <laughs> All right, let's see if he is able to answer the questions. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Peanuts! Yes! <laughs> yeah. Okay. For him to cosplay. For him to cosplay, I think. <laughs> Yeah, for him to cosplay. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. All right. Then. <laughs> okay, don't fall. Oh my god. Uh -huh. This is more of this. Okay. Wow. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> These are all the different goons of Fuzzman or whatever the name was. Fuza, okay. <laughs> all right, let's go. Wow. Oh. Well, this is kind of a training, you know, what can I say? A training exercise, you could say? Whoa! Damn! 
Damn. <laughs> Yor is so drunk that she nothing's registering I think in her head. Oh my god. Damn. Oh. Oh nice. <laughs> Wow, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. What? Where? Okay. Oh, yeah. I guess that... That's another way? <laughs> wow! This is... <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, perfect. <laughs> oh my god dude. what <laughs> <laughs> yeah for the mission <laughs> Where's your? Oh my god. Your dish. Oh no, this this will be crazy. Oh my god. Is this like the Is this like the drunken fist or something? <laughs> wow, oh my god, this is... <laughs> Yo, this episode! <laughs> oh! Uh, are you okay? Oh no, she's asleep. Oh, there you go. Your Tisha has surrendered. Yeah. What? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well. Wow, okay. I really hope someone recorded this whole thing. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh no, how how much does this cost? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, confirm entrance. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Oh my god. This episode was so good. Oh, you know what? I kind of thought before, like, I kind of want to see Yor and Twilight face off against each other. And there you go. We kind of saw, you know? Like, both of them, if they both of them fought, what would happen? But I guess, uh, like, Yor was drunk. Still, you know? We do get a little glimpse of them battling it out. Okay, that was it. What an episode. Wow. Ah. <laughs> okay, that was good. So, this, epi this is episode number five. This episode starts with um, <clears throat> Lloyd, uh, Yor, and Anya being extremely concerned about what's going to happen, uh, the results and everything. Uh, everything's going kind of in a bad direction. Even the, the, the band, the the thing that uh, Yor was wearing, it kind of torn off. There's like uh, black cats, you know, <laughs> crossing the road, and Anya steps on poop. In the previous episode, like you know, the 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 photograph also fell down and broke. So yeah, these things and uh, like these are like you know uh, considered, as far as I remember, uh, not lucky. Yeah, these are not lucky as, as they're considered. Like you know, breaking. I, like you know for example breaking like a glass or something or these type of things and since this is like in the 1600 uh, I think these type of things were probably very you know like people used to look at these type of things in a very uh, unlucky way since it was that in that age you know like in the 1600s and uh, yeah so basically <laughs> everything's going wrong and they are concerned. Now, uh, we get to see the boss again here. We not get to see the boss directly, but I, I, I'm guessing we're going to see his face later on. We see the boss and I guess the, that was like the secretary. Uh, and they were talking about this and the secretary was like, how are you sure this is going to work? And the boss is like, you don't know Twilight, you know, like when he takes something up, you know, it's going to be completed. And they talk about like a code where the code is like what was the code when sakura blooms no cherry blossoms bloom sakura saku or cherry blossoms bloom okay um when that code comes in that means they have accomplished it and now this go to the board the name are not there and uh, again as i as i said at that moment i was like maybe there is like a separate list or something something must have been going on behind the uh, you know scenes because the guy punched him for a reason and i'm sure the guy did like you know like what was his name i forgot his name again henderson or something i think that was like his name and he must have done something after that so i was just waiting and henderson yeah that's his name so mr henderson comes up and he's like come here i kind of <laughs> signs them and gives them the uh, waiting list where number one it's Anya Forger and a few others as well so I'm guessing they were they would have taken Anya uh, directly but since that whole thing happened where you know what's his name uh, Lloyd like punched the thing and all uh, they made it as if she's in the waiting list but put her in the top and this is like a small little compromise they did because they, they were sure like you know uh, Anya is going to get in because number one in the waiting list means yeah definitely 
So, but there was still a little bit uh, concern in my head. I was like, this is the Eden Academy. So people who are going to get in are definitely going to get in. None of them would like, you know, leave by the middle of it. So I was thinking, is, like, you know, will Anya be able to get in? Will the waiting list even move up? So turns out, yeah, a few people, by the end of it, we see few people does, I'm guessing they probably opted out or something. And that's how they were able to, like, you know, Anya moved up the list. And, uh, but st there was still a concern in my head because I thought like, since this is Eden Academy, probably the people who are going to get in are definitely not going to go out or like, you know, opt out. <clears throat> but anyways, um, so Mr. Henderson gives him that paper and, uh, <laughs> Lloyd is like, wait, we did all of that. Then why? And he's like, you know what? The, 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 the creature which kills people the most. It's like the like, kind of the mosquito. He says, <laughs> "It's like you saved that person. I forgot the guy's name. You know, from such a big danger at that moment, you killed that mosquito. That's why you were letting <laughs> letting you in, <laughs> your child in. And uh, oh my god. Now, here I knew when as soon as your you know heard that uh, Anya would be able to get in." Now, she is on top of the waiting list, so someone needs to opt out, you know. So as soon as you heard that, I knew she was going to, like, you know, like, her mind is going to go in crazy directions. And it did go, like, you know, for a moment she was imagining, like, <laughs> that she would go and, like, you know, try to hunt someone down whose, uh, like, you know, child is going to go in to the academy, is going to get admitted to the academy, so that the child is not able to. And so that Anya is able to get in in that person's stead. <laughs> then she's like, no, 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 I should not think of it like that. So now Henderson, Mr. Henderson does give them an assurance. He's like, don't, you don't have to worry about it. Every year, you know, two or three people usually go like, you know, kind of opts out. And uh, the waiting list does go up. So you don't have to worry about it. I'm sure you'll be able to get in. Your child will be able to get in. And uh, he says how uh, he's probably going to lose his position by the time Anya gets in. Now, um, I, I kind of, I don't know, like, you know, we'll have to wait. You know, I really hope this guy doesn't get fired or something. Because this guy seems like a very nice guy. A very, um, what do you call it? Very, a person who has... Uh, like who has the right type of uh, personality or like in you know, a right type of uh, a sense of justice you know he's not someone who would um do the things that that guy did you know that type of a nasty person he's not that type of person mr henderson so he i i, I thought that he would probably be like a good ally you know and uh, like you know when after anya goes in he would probably be like a good ally or something i thought and uh, I really hope he, he doesn't get fired or something. We'll have to wait for that. And Twilight also thinks about it for a moment. He's like, like who would prove to be a better person uh, for my mission? This guy or that, that fat guy, that, that guy? That oaf of a man, yeah. Uh, between this teacher and that oaf of a man. Who would be better? And... Uh, <clears throat> We'll have to wait for that. We'll see what happens. I really hope he doesn't get fired. He seems like <laughs> a significant enough character, you know, Mr. Henderson. He seems like one of the main supporting characters. So him getting fired <laughs> would be kind of anticlimactic. So we'll have to see what happens. Um, but I, I guess, like, you know, like, since, uh, I don't know. Like, I was going to say, like, since Twilight has, like, you know, hands in the government, uh, maybe he can pull some strings to let Mr. Henderson stay or something. I don't know. Again, we'll have to wait for that time and see what happens. And uh, all right, so they go back home and Anya's doing some weird ritual so that they can, <laughs> she can, they're going to get admitted. And the phone like, you know, rings. Lloyd just rushes there and he's like, brings out the confetti and pops it. And yeah, Anya has gotten in. And as soon as that news comes in, Fred, I think, what was his name? Freddy? Frankie, sorry, Frankie. Frankie comes in and Frankie's like, oh, how are you doing? <laughs> I heard that you, 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 you know, Anya got in. 
and uh, oh boy they were having like a meal and all everything and oh my god from here oh, a yore starts drinking is she that lightweight you know like for alcohol like she dr that uh, was that what, what was that was that like was that wine or was it like actual I don't know but anyways you know she she starts drinking and she starts getting drunk more and more from here onwards throughout the whole episode <laughs> after this so and not only uh, your Frankie also starts drinking and he also kind of gets a little tipsy you know <clears throat> all right so uh, yeah everyone's like eating and all and uh, they're like, all right, Anya, you did a good job, so do you want something? Anya's like, I don't want to buy something. There's something I want to do. And uh, then we see what Anya wishes. Mm. <clears throat> Bond man, I think that was the name. And Princess Honey. I, I don't know. Is, is that like a Mario reference? Like Princess Peach reference or something? I don't know. Yeah, like the, the, the princess did kind of look like Princess Peach a little bit. I think so. I've not play, played Mario that much, but I, I, I am familiar with the like, like, you know, characters and everything. Like, you know, Princess Peach, Mario, Luigi, Browser, Browser I think? Bowser, sorry. And uh, a few other characters as well. I know them by name. That's, that's all I know. But I don't know if this was like a Mario reference or something. Like, at least the princess kind of looked like Princess Peach, I think. <clears throat> but anyways. <clears throat> so yeah, Anya shows them, like, this is what's happening. And uh, <laughs> Anya's like, I want to go there. And at first I was like, how is that even possible? And then they kind of say that like, this is kind of possible. Like Frankie says that, um, where is it? Okay, um, at first, <laughs> at first Lloyd is like, no. <laughs> Frank is like, Frank is like, I won't go to school if this doesn't happen. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So, okay. So this thing, this place, it's called the New Newstone Castle. It was the reason I heard about them doing... The, uh, I guess this was the reason I heard about them doing the place up cartoon style. They say it's got all the gimmicks from the show. And you can rent the whole place. All right, so this is like a actual place. Like I thought it was like in the anime, and that's why I'm like, how is that even possible? But this is an actual place, and this, this new storm castle, I think that was what it was called. There, there's like all the gimmicks and everything. So yeah, this can be rented. And since um, <laughs> Lloyd is part of uh, like you know the spy you know like network and part of the government, he can do stuff. You know, he he has uh, he can. I gonna pull some strings and do something. So yeah. Now the order, like you know, the the mission, the 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 thing comes in the the information that uh, Sakura's blue, and that means yeah, they have been successfully infiltrated the academy. Everyone's happy, you know, like uh, and everything. That the the secretary is also like you know smiling, and then. Another order comes in, like there's something that Lloyd needs, like you know, needs to do as soon as possible, and which is this, <laughs> renting this place and all that stuff. So they're like, fine, like you know, like uh, Miss uh, Twilight wants this, so Twilight will get this, and they like you know get ready for all of this. Like they they're like they um, brought like an airplane and everything, and uh, yeah, like they they just are ready with all everything so <laughs> now i do wonder what would have happened if uh yor was actually sober she was full-on drunk and uh, i think that's probably the reason why she didn't ask many questions as to how did lloyd get so so many privileges like she's so drunk she probably doesn't remember anything what happened so <laughs> Like, you know, like Lloyd is supposed to be a psychiatrist and psychiatrists, I don't think they have this amount of freedom. <laughs> like, you know, like this, this, this amount of facilities. And uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you would have probably been a little suspicious if she was sober, but she was drunk. She's full drunk. I doubt she'll remember anything and I doubt she remembers what happened. 
Yeah, so get in, they get in the plane. Frankie's there, uh, Lloyd, Anya, and Yor. And uh, off we go to the castle. And uh, yeah, we, we go, go into the castle. Anya's like running around and everything. Frankie's also running around. <laughs> Anya's like, this is not how I envisioned it. I want some villains, some people, you know, like I want to, I want, want a recreation of all those scenes. <laughs> Frankie's like, yeah, that's true. And he's like, uh, yeah, like Lloyd, you better do that. Otherwise, uh, Anya will not go to school. <laughs> so next order, you know, uh, like, you know, like emergency orders, we need these amount of people and we need these type of things. They tell like, you know, the, uh, the spy operation to the people and they get ready and they they jump in like you know a lot of people comes in and uh, this mission which is ss plus rank mi ranked mission is has started and a lot of people come in and uh, everything's kind of looking good <laughs> everyone's like oh this is like an ss plus rank mission and uh, mr twilight is there mr twilight in like you know in person and a lot of people are like oh i'm such a big fan and they're just, you know, like there, and they're they're just just ready to help uh, Lloyd with everything they <laughs> they can. And Lloyd is there standing, and Lloyd is like, "Oh, thank you for coming today. My daughter's because of my daughter, and all that stuff." Saying, and Morse code, you know, on the other side, he's just telling them to do whatever, like you know, they tell you to do because this is an important mission. Everyone's like, "All right, you know, you know, you don't have to say twice." And uh, yeah, so the setting is Anna is the princess here, and uh, the spy is here to save him, her. But the big baddie, f what was what name did he get? Fuzzball, yeah, Fuzzball or Fuzzy. No, the big baddie Fuzzy is here to, <laughs> you know, to uh, like you know, kidnap Anya. And uh, the other person here was um, Yor. But Anya's like, I, like Anya didn't even introduce her properly, which Yor was kind of shocked about. But yeah, so mission start, you know, they grab Anya and they're like, and try to run away. And uh, Lloyd, Lloyd is supposed to go and capture them. And uh, so the first mission or whatever, the first stage, uh, like they're on a blimp, a little, not blimp, but like a thing, you know, and uh, while um, Lloyd is in another car or another thing, and uh, here they ask them him a few questions which were one of the questions were i think the first, what was the first question um oh what does princess anya like about bond man this question this was a tricky one because and we kind of knew that anya loves uh, silenced pistols but we did not know that's what she likes about bond man as well so <laughs> You know, like at first, Anya was like, "No, you're wrong." You know, like I like uh, his silence pistol. So the first question is wrong. He has to put in one of the cosplays. And the second question, what does Anya likes? Easy question, peanuts. You know. And the third question is, uh, what's the third question? Uh, what does Anya want right then? And I thought it was probably like she wants him to cosplay, but Anya was like, "I want water." <laughs> and yeah, and then it's wrong. So yeah, Lloyd will have to like you know uh, dress up as uh, Bond Man or Lloyd Man, whatever. And uh, yeah, so then like you know then we get a little scene like in a little um, sequence of a lot of action scenes. Like, you know, that's, like there was like balls coming here and there, and all the different people were just like who are the bad guys acting as the bad guys. They were trying to stop Lloyd while uh, Fuzzball or Fuzzy. Uh, took Anya and like you know, took him into uh, her into a castle, and to the top of the castle. And Lloyd was like you know kind of fighting and everything and like dodging all the balls and everything, just fighting off the villains and going in, going up. And that scene was also really fantastic where they were like shooting and Lloyd just you know like took one of the balls through them, grabbed one of the guns and started shooting. <laughs> that was good. And one thing we should see here is none of the balls hit him. So if, if these balls are also original bullets, he wouldn't have gotten shot. Like that really shows how uh, proficient Lloyd is. And <laughs> then we see a little, like, you know, like she kind of, he kind of goes and kind of zip lines on the cable. And was that his belt? Wait a minute. Yeah, oh my God. So she, he grabbed the belt 
<laughs> use it as a zipline thing. <laughs> when after reaching the destination, he took it and put it back on. <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. And there was like explosions happening in, in the back, and I'll, I'll, and Anya's just so happy. And all the subordinates are here, and uh, the final section, and uh, Lloyd is there, and and Lloyd is like, all right, fine, like, and I'll play the role. And he's like, Anand, Princess Anya. <laughs> and uh, the final boss, which is Yotisha, I think that was the name, the witch, mighty mistress of witchcraft, Yotisha, which is your. And she's just like, and, and this part was fantastic. I, I, I kind of thought, like, how would it be if Yor and uh, Lloyd fought? And here we got to see that, you know, Yor versus Lloyd. And boy, oh boy, that was something, you know, just, and I feel like um, Yor would be a lot more stronger than Lloyd and a lot more proficient in fighting than Lloyd because Lloyd is a spy, you know, like just like how Lloyd is able to adapt and like, you know, fade into the surroundings. That is not something that Yor would be able to do. But similarly, uh, I feel like Yor is a lot more stronger and uh, a lot more uh, proficient in fighting techniques and martial arts and stuff than Lloyd because she's an assassin. And uh, I think that we kind of got a glimpse of that. Like, Yor, uh, like Lloyd was like, you know, dodging and everything, but still, uh, Yor did like, you know, kind of use her like, shoes to, I think, the heel of the shoe. You kind of scratched his uh, cheek and it started bleeding. And uh, yeah, but by the end of it, you, you just falls down and kind of falls asleep. <laughs> because obviously she's just drunk. <clears throat> and uh, as I said, I think you would have probably won if she was not drunk here. And uh, you know, she didn't fall asleep. But anyways, that's just what I think. Maybe not. We'll see. I uh, will probably not see because like I don't think they'll ever fight again in the future. Who knows? I think this is like the first and the last time we're going to see Yor versus Lloyd. Which in itself is something that is very rare. But who knows, maybe someday in the future something happens and maybe they'll have to fight against each other. It might happen, you know, like who knows. And uh, yeah, okay, so that was that. And uh, Lloyd is like, alright, fine. He, he just goes in. Like, I do wonder what, like, you know, how does Lloyd, what does, what goes on in Lloyd's mind? She's seeing her wife, his wife, do stuff like this, who's just a civil, like, you know, like, you know, civil um, service, uh, what do you call them? Uh, like, employee, yeah, civil employee. And uh, he saw her doing these type of things. He still doesn't think it's weird. Like, he, she doesn't suspect him. Like, I can understand you're not suspecting Lloyd, at least in this episode, because your role was just drunk, you know? She probably wouldn't remember all these things. But what about Lloyd? Does, does he not suspect her? Like, what the hell is happening? How is, like, you know, like a civil, uh, like, in a service, uh, <laughs> like, in a person, like, employee is able to fight like this. And, like, you know, me being a spy, she's able to actually, uh, like, you know, defeat me. Doesn't that go through his head? I don't know. I have no idea what goes through Lloyd's head, but he's not suspicious still. But anyways, um, so yeah, like they get, like you know that uh, Yor is asleep, and Fuzzball is like, ah, it's my time, and he just slaps him across the face. <laughs> and yeah, last boss is <laughs> unconscious, and yeah, like Princess Anya has been saved. Anya just <laughs> you know, goes and hugs him, is like, Chichi. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and then there's like, everyone's like crying, like, you know, just tears dropping and then they give the signal for the fireworks to start, <laughs> to start, you know, like popping. And yeah, and Anya's like, all right, I'll do my best from here onwards on in school. And that's all that was needed, you know, uh, and this operation was successful. And uh, the secretary of the, the big boss is like, here we go. Uh, like. <laughs> the expenditure that happened and the boss is like wait a minute i think there's an extra zero over here <laughs> oh no that's very tense what a good episode fantastic ah like the, the animation and everything was just great the, the final scene was so good and it's nice to see anya have fun as anya said you know in the end like after go going out like you know of the the orphanage i never thought i'll have a time like this ever 
so he's happy and uh, yeah there you go nice ending so that was it thanks for watching guys this was my reaction to spy family episode number five if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out and yeah that was it that was a fantastic episode uh, really good and uh, oh boy anya has been accepted to the academy and i'm guessing within one or two episodes we're going to see her go to school probably from the next episode i don't know we'll see so yeah i'm looking forward to that so yeah see you guys next week with another episode of spy family until then goodbye and have a nice day